I'm presenting a case of a myofascial resection of submucous fibroid for a patient who was suffering from excessive irregular menstruation. Ultrasound scan was performed first, which diagnosed submucous fibroid, following which an outpatient hysteroscopy was performed to confirm the location and the exact size of the fibroid. This procedure was performed as an office procedure, meaning patient had paracetamol and ibuprofen an hour before the procedure. Just prior to the procedure, paracervical injection of local anesthetic was given. Total of 8.8 .8 mils of local anesthetic was injected. We wait for three minutes after the injection and dilate the cervix up to 8 mm size Hagar's dilator. Myosure reach is used for this procedure, although Myosure XL would have been the ideal one. You can see we started resecting fibroid from one edge of the fibroid and moved on to the other side. Now we are getting into the plane, which is known as the false capsule of the fibroid. And I'm trying to separate the fibroid from the adjacent environment rim. Care should be taken to avoid perforation at this stage. We are using normal saline for the entire procedure and a strict input and output was charted. Myosha is a device in which it works with the principle of a mosellation which is used during laparoscopic surgery. It cuts fibroid into small chips and it sucks it out which goes in a separate pod as compared to the outflow fluid. The last part of the fibroid resection is a bit tricky and every care should be taken to resect fibroid. Small chips of the fibroid which are moving in the cavity during the resection can be taken out later on. Overall procedure time was around five minutes and patient tolerated the procedure very well. Patient went home immediately after the procedure. Thank you for watching.